Hi, my name is Cory Yoder of Coriander Quilts and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you just a super quick quilt share of my round four motor block heads quilt top. I just finished it up last week and I am just so happy with the way it all came together. We just got our last block for this round of motor block heads and I was just so excited to have mine all sewn together. I designed this setting layout and I shared it over on my blog earlier this summer and I think it's such a fun one. It uses the nine inch blocks and I, just 25 of the nine inch blocks, unless you wanted to make it bigger. I did give instructions over on my website for the layout as I have it pieced together here. So if this is how you might want to lay out your blocks, you can grab the instructions over there. I will have that linked in the description box below. But I think it just so nicely frames out all of the blocks. It is not an on point setting, but it does kind of give the illusion of an on point setting, which is fun. I did make a little quick video where I shared some pressing tips if you decided to use this layout that I think you would find helpful, so I'll make sure and link to that as well. My fabrics are cozy up fabrics. The gray that I use to frame everything out is Moda Etchings charcoal, which is a really dark gray, a really warm dark gray color that I use quite a bit. I think it always sets off the warm colors that I like using very nicely. And I'm still undecided about how I want to quilt my quilt. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them below. I am thinking about maybe the diagonal plaid quilting design. Some of you are probably familiar with that. I think that shape would really nicely set in this, um, block layout so I'm throwing that idea around but maybe you have some other ideas so comment below if you have a different quilting idea you think would work really well and I think I'm going to back it in a minky type cuddle fabric because I think that would be just a cozy quilt my family tends to fight over the minky backed quilts so hopefully we can add this one to our roundup of snuggly quilts but that is kind of what I wanted to share with you guys today. I think it's easier for you to see how the layout works in this video format rather than trying to photograph the quilt. I will take some photos and have them over on my blog as well, but um, it's so nice to be able to show it to you this way because I think you can see how it just frames out those blocks. That is my quick quilt share for today. I hope you liked this little peek. And if you are sad that Moda Blockheads has wrapped up because you no longer have a sew along to sew along with your quilting friends, there is another sew along that I'm hosting here on my YouTube channel called the Oh Happy Day Sampler Sew Along. And I just released the first block this past Saturday. Block number two comes out in the upcoming set in the upcoming Saturday. Block number two comes out this upcoming Saturday. I think that's the way I wanna say that. Uh, sometimes I get a little bit wordy, but I think you know what I mean. We have block two coming out this week. So if you wanna join in on another fun sew along, you might catch that. I'll put information about that sew along down below. So if you wanna sew along some more, you are more than welcome to join in with all the rest of us. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will catch you again next time.